My name is Dean Alexander. I'm from Appleton City, Missouri, uh, county of St. Clair. Uh, I farm 5,000 acres of corn, beans, and wheat. Uh, I learned about John last year. I was at a Conklin uh, Pro Ag training seminar, and they were using his name with Kip Kohler and some uh, very good, very good researchers and agronomists. And I was like, well, he's close by. Uh, I'll stop by and see him and visit with him. And I came by one day and he took me around and showed me some of the things that he was doing. And I was very, very impressed with the time he took on all the research that he did and, and uh, the things he was trying. It, I mean, he was completely doing things that I'd never heard of. I've been, you know, kind of contemplating with starter fertilizer with my corn and uh, I've always used kind of foliars with my wheat and fungicides with my beans, but John got me on a program this year with uh, 31818 BP foliar and uh, Ballad biological fungicide Inferro on my corn at four gallons an acre. I knew I needed to do it because over the last few years they've been talking about starters and cover crops and, and the big thing in ag has been GPS and guidance and I knew I needed to make a move to do a better job trying to increase my yield. So uh, I tried it, I, I spoke with John, we went over a lot of things and, and uh, we put on four gallons an acre. We did it on every bit of our corn, did a few check strips so I could go back and see the difference that it made. And I was just absolutely blown away by the results that I saw. Um, I had planted next to a guy, we were in the same field the same evening and a rain was coming, we knew it was, we only had about two or three days to plant. And He planted and I planted, we both pulled out, and I said, this is gonna be a good comparison. I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have startup in furrow here and he's not gonna have anything. And my corn is out of the ground four days quicker than his was. And we had got a big rain, we'd got a three inch rain and that usually never works in Missouri when you get a big rain. You know, that corn just took off, it just jumped right out of the ground. His stalks at probably about uh, two weeks were, oh, probably about the size of my pinky. My stalks were, I mean, they were they were three times bigger. Had the brace roots are, brace roots already set, and I said this. If anything else fails, this is the, the best thing that's happened because it, it saved my stand, you know. And we were behind on our planting date anyway. So, you know, just watching it grow, it's it's had a lot more vigor. Um, and I'm really anxious to see, you know, what my yields are compared to my check strips. Um, looking at the ears that I pull off and the ears that I use my starter in furrow program, it looks like to me I'm going to have 30 to 40 bushel uh, increase in my yield, no doubt. As far as the value of the product, some people will, you know, they're going to kind of cringe to get their planter set up on liquid fertilizer, which is going to cost somewhere, you know, $10,000. Um, at $40 an acre, I think I'm going to see a 35 to 40 bushel yield, yield bump. And at $5 corn, I'm spending $40 an acre in, in my startup program. And, you know, for even 40 bushel at $5, $200 an acre. You know, that's $160 of extra revenue per acre by using the startup program.